that is going to be shearing balls of wool from these sheep. I've had a few guys tell me in the comments uh, saying that this was a pretty good method, so I'm going to try it out. Oh, right here, climb over this thing. And don't attack, don't, well, shear the sheep. So there's ram and then there's sheep. So each piece of wool is worth 600 GP. Uh, you could fill up an inventory as 28, so you'll make uh, roughly 19k profit uh, for each inventory. And an inventory will take 4 to 5 minutes. So uh, overall this method would make you 200 to 250k GP per hour. So there we go, that's full inventory, that took 4 minutes, so that means you could do uh, about 20 of these inventories per hour, maybe a little less because you're going to have to bank it, so 16k profit per, 17k profit per uh, inventory, uh, the price does change every once in a while, but wool is always in demand because people uh, like stringing the amulets because that is a, another good money making method. Um, also, if you don't want to just sell this wool as it is, you can actually go to a uh, spinning wheel. There's one in the Lumbridge Castle on the second floor. And you can make balls of wool, and that would increase the value by 200 um, on each piece of wool. So when you're done with your full inventory, you can just go bank it at the bank in the combat, bank in the combat academy, and then you can go get another inventory. So another really good method is uh, buying beer from this bar here. Talk to the bartender. And so you're going to want to click the first option. So you can just click one on your keyboard, hold the space bar, and you get one beer. So you can just keep on doing this until you get a full inventory. Each beer is 2 GP, and you can sell it for 600 GP, uh, that's GE price. I believe it sells for a little less, but uh, you know, you could leave it in and hopefully you'll get it. So I'll just fast forward to the end of this inventory. So there we go, that's a full inventory that took about three or four minutes. And as you can see, it's just the same as the wool. About uh, 17k profit. Uh, I do, did sell it in the GE, sold for about 300 GP. That was quick selling. You could leave it in there and it would sell for the 600, but if you want to just insta sell, it sells for the 300. Also, the wool sold for three uh, sold for the GE price, uh, insta sold. So you could actually sell that for a little more too if you would like. So this next method is uh, just cutting regular trees. Now you can actually do this two different ways. You can cut them and then go bank them. They are worth a little over 300 GP each, so you get 9k profit per inventory. Now I like this method because I like getting skills up while I make money. So with this, you get you'll, you'll get your uh, wood cutting up, which is nice. Uh, now then the second way you can actually do this is you can fletch them, and that will make it so. Each each uh, log is worth 100 GP, just about. So you do lose your profit by quite a bit. And to fletch, you just click craft, and you would want to click the knife and make it into the arrow shafts. So this really does decrease the profit, but you do get some fletching XP as well, which is nice. Um, also, if you uh, have a higher wood cutting at 15, you can cut oak logs and you can actually make a few five more arrow shafts uh, out of the oak logs than you can normal logs so depending on the logs you cut it will uh, change the amount of arrow shafts you'll get and uh, the profit will vary like that but overall this method can make you anywhere from 200 to 300k per hour 
So another really good method of making money is actually buying stuff from these stores. And one for an example is Zaf store. You can buy these staffs. He has 10 in stock and they'll regen pretty fast, I believe. So I bought them for 10 GP each, I think it was, or 15 GP each. And you can actually sell each one for 1.9K each. So that's really good profit. And I think they will replenish fairly quickly. Also these, you see they're 2 GP. They sell for 600 GP. So like pretty much any one of these items, you can make a ton of money off. Just buy them all. And you see I, I pretty much lost 1k for this whole inventory. And that's 30k and the bank's right there. Now, the only thing about this method is they may not act all sell for the GE price. So you do have to be wary of that. But just deposit them and you can just go back. And there's a whole bunch of stores that you could check out. You can go to Horvick over here. He sells armor. Most of it isn't very profitable, but the black armor is. However, the black chain body you can sell for quite a bit, and the black plate legs are also profitable. And there's Lowe, just right across the street. He's a ranger. Take these free uh, bronze bolts. They sell for about 6k profit. So, and the rest really isn't that profitable. Zaf is definitely the best. He sells the magic stuff. Other stores that would be really good would be rune shops. You always buy the elemental runes, so fire, air, earth, and water. Those are all profitable. Um, there's also some the fishing shops in uh, Port Serum. They're fairly profitable as well. Uh, you can always just check every random little shop around this place just to see if you make some profit off them. But I would, I would say Zaf does have the best shop. The staffs are really good and they, they replenish very quickly. I think it's like five or ten minutes and you'll, they'll, have, they'll all be back. And you can always buy the wizard, wizard, wizard stuff again because that's like 30k profit in literally one minute. So, uh, yeah, and this, this method does require a little bit of starting cash, but if you can do it in a full hour, like, you could make 600k even upwards to 1 mil per hour doing this. It's a really good method. Uh, just got to try out some random stores. These are just a few to get you guys started. Um, other stores, there's probably some other profitable ones. I'm liking Zaf the most, so definitely check him out. Feathers are also always good in the fishing shops if you can uh, buy them. So uh, yeah this is probably the best method in this guide. I would do the other methods first to make a bit of money uh, to start out if you're a new player and then you can do this and make some money pretty quickly. So thanks for watching guys. I really hope this helped you start an account on free to play. This is more for that. You can do those first two methods or that I showed you, first three methods that I showed you for some starting cash. I would say the beer method is probably the worst. I like the woodcutting method the most to start out and then the uh, buying stuff from shops. That's definitely the best money per hour. Uh, you can do that later on when you need a bit of cash. But uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching this video and subscribe for more, more content like this. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.